<laughs> Why is she looking at <laughs> I see no one in front of me but God. Goddess Joy. Exactly! I mean, I'm glad she's seeing those comments. Even like I, when I react to it, this is so Yena. Hello everyone, I'm your host, Mario, and today I'm checking out Isha Young's debut album called Hush Rush, I believe, like the title track. I'll be checking out also the performance video for Hush Rush, I haven't checked it yet. And I'll be checking also like the B-sides for the first time, and I found out that Danny has also a performance video, so I added it. So I'll be checking out, I guess, the choreography for the first time as well as the song itself. Anyway, let's go first with Hush Rush performance view. Oh! The way this song was so unexpected for us people. Starting to lose hope that she's gonna be forever in the WM basement. an amazing dancer. Oh? And I guess we stop it. I wanna stop it at Cheon. Uh, I react the performance, like it fits the song. Personally, I think the song was great. It's, it was like amazing for a debut, but it, on itself, like if I don't consent this a debut, like it was a great song. Yeah, sure, I think some people are saying they wanted something more, something special, but hopefully for the comeback, like, the upgrade that Onri got from her debut to, 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 like, glitch, like, I really hope Cheon gets the same treatment, you know? Like, for her comeback to get the same, I guess, jump within quality from, like, Hush Rush to the next song. Like, I hope the next song, like, is a hit, you know? And anyway, let's check out uh, Danny.
I don't really like this performance. I like this more than Ashraj. Yo, can we have a music video for this? And for some reason, like she sounds good here too. Like it fits her voice. Guys, this was legit like so good. This song is amazing. I like it more than Hash Rush too. Like I'm actually questioning now why this isn't the title track. And I got Aquamarine. Yo, this is so dark. <laughs> that big. Yo, the pizza is left. The 
Bro, the b sides on the Sama are fire. Yeah. Why are the B sides so th this good? Like, I'm not even joking. This is amazing as well. If not, like, those two songs were like almost masterpieces. If not, like, they're gonna grow on me for sure with more listens. But, like, oh god, why did they have these two as B sides and Hush Rush? As I mean, I'm not, I'm sure like some people like Hush Rush more than the B sides. But for me, the more I listen to the B sides, the more I get disappointed with Hush Rush. Like I, like I said, it's a great song, but look, when I listen to, what was it, Danny and Aquamarine, like, those two songs are so good, oh god, honestly, if she keeps these sounds for like the next album, I think it's gonna be a hit as well, same but different, let's check out the last song, I guess I'm gonna comment overall. <laughs> I do know it's like short. I know it's two minutes. I'm not sure. Is this supposed to be like an outro that is long? I'm not sure. Because even Joyuri had like a one minute 30 seconds. One of the B-side last one. I felt like it was very short. This one, not that much. I didn't feel like it was short. I really liked it. But yeah, the B-sides on this album are actually, I don't know, like way better than Hush Rush. Like I'm actually shocked. I wasn't expecting them. I was expecting everything to be like consistent, but no, I actually like the B-sides more. Yeah, I'm actually even more looking forward to Cheon's next album. What is she going to do? I did. I don't like what I've been seeing on, her on Twitter. People are saying that she should be in a group 
you know, she's not going to succeed as a soloist because she needs other people to be with her and she will be elevating them and she gets elevated herself and like be better when she's around others. I mean, she's doing well so far as a soloist. Like, I'm going to be honest, those like the B side, especially the B side, honestly. I, I imagine those people who are saying that only checked Hush Rush and called it a day. You have to check the B side and you will see that Cheon can be a soloist because she's really good. And uh, I've seen like some people say, okay, she's an amazing dancer, but not that good of a performer. I mean, I do agree that Cheon's dance skills are so high to the point where I think like uh, her facial expressions and stage presence aren't there yet on that on the same level as her dance skills. So, but she's gonna improve. Like uh, that's like uh, her third year as an idol, right? Because Izon was two point five years. And she's continuing now, I guess. She's finishing her third year, right? So she's still like a rookie now, a rookie soloist. I'm sure she's going to work on herself more. I'm sure like her stage presence, her facial expressions are like are going to catch up to how amazing her dance skills are. And like one day she's going to be one of the best performance uh, performers in the fourth generation.